guys, welcome back to our channel. Bronte and Evan with Rided Roots Farm. We have a huge day today. Stick with us because it might get a little crazy. We are moving the chickens back towards the house and- We're starting our return. We're starting our return. It's always, or in the past, it has been a not a good time really. So There's just a lot of gaps created on this side because of the unuating terrain. Inuating, unuating, I think it's unuating. There's a bunch of holes There's in our field. There's a bunch of holes field. in this uneven and we don't have the schooners retrofitted the way that they need to be so by next season we'll have that issue fixed where we're going to put rubber matting at both ends of the schooner which allows you know to fill those gaps so the chickens aren't just flooding out because some days we're losing 40 to 50 not losing not losing but they're escaping they're yeah. fugitives and we have to go catch them and it just it adds stress it's frustrating for us we yell at each other and you know, threaten each other, bodily harm, and it's gotten to the point where we just have to make a change. So, we're gonna make that improvement probably before this thing's done because I'm that fed up with it. So, we're, we've hit our limit as far as we can take them this way because our water source, one downside of this field, we only have one faucet out here and we run hoses, provide water to the schooners, right, for the chickens. We could keep adding hose um, because we do have more pasture here uh, as you can see behind us, we're not out of pasture, we're just out of hose. Adding another 100 feet will put us at like 600 feet out or something like that. All right, so long story so, short, we're bringing short, the, we're, we're bringing making the our suit. return. <laughs> just pray for these birds' legs. Like, it's just hard to turn hard. the schooners. If you remember, um, there was, um, I'll throw up the, the video where the last time we moved the schooners at an angle. I have come a long way since then. I can hold chickens now, so this will definitely be better than the last time. And I have my gloves with me, so I won't be freaked out. I've been through some stuff since the last time we moved these schooners, so yeah. I feel stronger and more since prepared. Since the last time we moved them back. But yeah, it's a whole back. different thing, because yeah. you got angles and it's moving sideways and forward. All right, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. It helps us so much and it means yes. the world. We're gonna get into it. Thanks so much. We appreciate you watching us. Okay, peace out. We're gonna do it. Here we go. I'm so nervous. We only had an issue with one chicken, which isn't bad, but this is the schooner that has the bumpers. The other schooner doesn't have bumpers, and so the chickens, it's easier for them to get their legs caught. So I'm not looking forward to this. <sighs> Whole leg. 
going straight? Are we or no? Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, stop, stop. All right. Go. Go. That was a nightmare. You guys ready to see? And maybe you didn't catch it. Hey, you guys kept some chickens from getting out. They sit at the back. It's like they knew, but they didn't keep them all in. There are literally half of the birds are out of that schooner. We've got wild chickens. We've got injured chickens. That was stressful. Our schooners look like. Oh, oh my gosh. There's chickens just laying out dying out here. Yeah, it looks like a war. What? It looks like a war. A war? I don't even know where to start. Okay, here, we start by getting ah! Oh my god. That's it. Alright, so Bronte's upset. Bronte's still frustrated after moving those shooters. No, I'm not. She's still upset after moving those shooters. I'm not upset. Um, because it was frustrating. Those chickens just kept pouring out of there. And I mean, it can be really irritating. And you know, we always lose life, unfortunately, because chickens get their feet stuck. They get caught underneath because that schooner's moving like left and right and forward. And it's just, it's kind of an ugly situation. It, it so. makes it like way stressful and it brings out like the not great sides of you when yeah, lives really are does. being lost, chicken lives. You start to snap at each other a little bit. We did a lot better than previous times, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did better. <laughs> so to end our day, Hi, we're making Hi, uh, our chicken thighs. Tell them the story. Oh, Did yeah. you guys remember we had that batch that turned out really small? Because of the heat? Because of the heat. They wouldn't so, eat a row, so. These are the thighs, the boneless, skinless thighs from that batch. And after deboning them, there just isn't much left. They're tiny. They're small. So that's, this is what we're calling the thigh nugget. So they're, it's like nugget size, like it's like a nugget, but it's dark meat. So they're so good to do, yeah, like stir fry. We did a taco bowl the other night. They actually are like so much fun. It kind of sad that we're like not gonna always have them because it's kind of a cool product. Yep, so we just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. We'll continue to post a video every single Thursday. If you like what you're watching, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you get reminded every Thursday when a new video is released. Hasta luego. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.